I'm Pat Flanagan. I'm a breeder, and I breed Mastiffs. What I love most about Mastiffs is their loyalty, their steadiness, their gentleness. They're fabulous with children. They're just a good, calm, steady dog. We had a French Lop Rabbit, my husband and I, that lived loose in the house, and then we were looking for a dog that could live with Wally, our Lop Rabbit, and not instantly want to have him for dinner. So that's how we came out with a Mastiff, because they were cute, adorable friends, even when Duncan got to be 200 pounds. And that's why we call them gentle giants. Breeding is important to me because we love our breed so much. We really love the Mastiff and all the qualities of it. So when we have a dog that we feel really embodies all those qualities and has the health and temperament to go along with it, we put it in our breeding program. When you get a dog from a breeder, you get an expert that you can go back to at any time. That's the relationship you should have. There are babies too. We put a lot of effort into those puppies and we're there for you for the lifetime of that dog just to make sure everything goes well. It's important to have the right family so that they understand what they're getting. Mastiffs are not the neatest dogs. There have been many slips on the drool from the water bowl in our house. You're guaranteed to hear a little running feet, boom, 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 slip, fall, crying. So you have to be ready for those things and be willing to live with it. And the whole family has to understand that. Traditionally, our dogs are named after Star Trek characters. We've had a Kirk, now we have Bones and Spock. We have two girls, Veronica and Morgan. They've spent their whole lives with Mastiffs since the time they were babies. Our family is very dog-oriented. It's a busy household. Everybody's very busy and running around, but always everyone has dog jobs. So first person up gets dogs out, next person up feeds dogs. We were playing with them in between. You know, dogs are just waiting for us to get on the couch so that they can just snuggle up with us. We kind of wake up and go to sleep thinking and living dog. Yeah, it's really, it's really a dog's house. Joe is the dog's best friend. Joe talks to the dogs like they're people in the house. He has full-on conversations and answers for the dog. I don't talk to my dogs. Shh, don't tell them anything. <laughs> We love having Masters in the house at all times. We really can't spend a day without them. For us, it's a family affair. I'm Pat Flanagan, and I breed happy, healthy dogs. Boy. <laughs>